Look, football teams are just like people. When they tell you who they are, you just have to listen. I said this a few weeks ago after a win. When you start looking at it week after week, that's starting to become the book on this team. They leave opportunities on the field every Sunday. The Jaguars have been making lots of mistakes year in and year out, all year long. Early in the season, the excuse was it's early and they have time to fix it. Then the excuse was, well, they're winning games and no NFL team's perfect. Now they've lost three of their last five games. The mistakes are still there and injuries have really gutted this team. And with four games left in the year, is there any reason to think that they can get it fixed? Maybe. It's tough to say. Look, the places where the Jaguars have made mistakes, 100% correctable. Miscommunications in the secondary can be fixed. Miscommunications between Trevor and his receivers can be fixed. Miscommunications in protection on the offensive line can be fixed. I think you kind of see a theme here. That stuff just happens. It shouldn't, but it does. And it happens more often when there are those changes all along through the lineups. And there have been a ton of changes in the Jaguars lineup over the past couple of weeks. The Jaguars injury list went from non-existent to a list all over the place as long as Santa's. And the list just keeps getting longer and longer as the games go by. The Jaguars are a banged up football team right now. The answer used are year in and year out by football teams at every level. High school, college, next man up. It's a true statement, but it only works when the next man up is ready to step up and play in that role in a big way. The good news for the Jaguars is that one of the somewhat bright spots for the Jaguars coming out of this rough Browns game was the play of a pair of their rookies that were thrust into the lineup because of those injuries. Parker Washington, Antonio Johnson, both rookies that were buried on the depth charts to start the year, but against the Browns, they both made big plays. That should be a sign of good things to come from both of these guys, which is always good for the team. Now, look, all in all, today was bad, and I know folks are starting to jump off the bandwagon, pressing that panic rut button and saying maybe the Jaguars are on fraud watch. It's way too early for that. Four games left in the season. The Jaguars are 8-5. and five. They're still in the driver's seat of the AFC South. They win the division. They're in the postseason. Jaguars aren't the first team to lose a couple of games in a row and still figure it out. And they definitely won't be the last. The 49ers were, are looking like a juggernaut right now. They're just rolling over everybody. They lost three games in a row before the bye week, and injuries had stacked up on them. Then they fixed it. The Eagles, they're losing another game tonight against the Cowboys right now. Not looking good for them. The problems can be fixed. The Jaguars can fix their problems. The foundation of this team is fine. There are a few cracks, sure. The Jaguars haven't been able to get fixed. And winning tends to hide problems. Sometimes it takes some of these losses to expose the issues before everybody's ready to kind of look in the mirror and get those exposed and get it fixed. And now's the time to get it fixed before they get exposed in the playoffs. The question now is, can the team respond or will they just sit in the room that's on fire and say, this is fine?